The value of values. The Berlin Street fallacy. The end or the beginning. The Berlin Wall went crumbling down. Now Wall Street is crumbling down. This is the end of the story. Let's now go to the beginning. The world is made up of the spiritual and the material. Before the 1600s, the Western world was more spiritual. For example, power was believed to come from God, to the church, to the king. Unfortunately, spirituality was confused with religious dogmatism, constraining individual liberties. After the 1600s, the idea consolidated that the power was of all the people. From this came the ideas of capitalism and communism. This change means that we went from absolute spiritualism to absolute materialism. In other words, capitalism and communism are not opposites, but two extremes of materialism. In capitalism, everything is private. There is deregulation and there is globalization. In communism, everything is public. There is control and there is an endogenous economy. Though they seem opposite, interestingly, both capitalism and communism are systems for the people but lacking the human, which means in both humans become resources. Both focus on the degree of control of resources. Both end imploding. So absolute spiritualism doesn't seem to be the answer. Absolute materialism doesn't seem to be the answer either. Maybe it is time to stop thinking as either or, and it is time to start thinking both and.